and they have six people on. Both bronzies, if you look around, it's absolutely chaos. And they're not small fish. The bite's not even five minutes. If you throw a live bait, not even five minutes and you're on. I think Kharak was two minutes there. So we're on with some nice bronzies here. So we're standing on a couple of Beach and Jeffries. Apparently it never used to be this wild and this thick. They showed up like out the blue about two weeks ago. And it seems they're here to stay. Well, we hope for a while at least. It's been a good few tons caught already. So. Too big. That seems to be winning nicely now. Ooh, this is like a She's going for a service. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Last week we got a few bronzies, but it was raining. Nice and cold. And today we've got perfect weather, but it's nice and warm. Pretty warm to be catching bronzies. Absolute mayhem, as you guys could see, bronzy after bronzy. Now this man has already landed three in the last week. Okay, so unfortunately his line popped here, close to the reel. Obviously a nick or something. And uh, yeah, it took me a while to get a decent sized mullet. We've got a few small ones. And Harold Hisa on the left here, the master in the area is, uh, is on with a good fish as well. And, Showing us how to do it. This fish is in that gutter. We'll just give it uh, some time. See what it's going to do before I wait. Very funny though, it ate very funny the whole time. It felt like a garrick or a cop, small cop trying to eat it.
text or something else. It was running, 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 and then poof, as if it broke. Then it came, and then it just slowly started swimming again, taking line. But it could have been just snapping on its tail, but it was taking line and then just stopped. In its track, solid. These fish unspool this reel much faster than what Daniel can spool them. Every merit possible. What a beaut. Oh, getting the summer fitness go. Oh no. It doesn't matter how many bronzes you've caught, they are always a worthy opponent. And uh, you can see the beach have filled up with guys all buckling. Most of them on the first course when they've got a life bait in. Pop. There's a lot of mullets in the water. The conditions are perfect. The sea's nice for them here. It's a nice gutter in the back. Six o'clock low, so the water's already low. It's a neap tide. And the oaks have just been pulling them one after another. I've had enough for today. That fish was 2.31. Um, uh, Leon quickly checked the uh, measurement to weight ratio for a female. And that, uh, it's just over 177 kilos, which is a PB for me. And what a day, what a place to break your PB. In Jeffrey's Bay, these fish are strong. They're really, really strong. And Michael's in on his second one. Unfortunately, that first one uh, did him a dirty. And uh, yeah, the lines were tangling here just now. Uh, the one guy broke off and Michael's still on. So we'll see if he gets that one out. But as far as I can see, the rods are down there. And as far as you can see this way, the rods are out. Now I've got either my corporal or my sergeant lines today. Look at the braid. And that's what you want. So yeah, awesome fighting a big fish with a saltiga. And uh, a merit to the championship eight. 
first uh, decent fish I've hooked, well the first fish I've hooked with it, yeah. So that's the first fish of that rod. Um, what a fish to start it with. And uh, the, the Saltiga's already caught a nice diamond, that 65 kilo diamond. So it's a second fish, so it's open. The card is open. Now it's just uh, dishing up. I believe we're gonna have a great summer. And what a privilege and blessing to be able to do this where we are doing it and at the level we are doing it. We can only say thank you. in the water actually. There were three people on with three different fish. Lines were tangled. And both of the guys got burnt off but at least I got this one out. So not a giant but very very enjoyable on the five to seven out so yeah. Chuck. Yeah, small black red, tiny one. Baby. Cool so if you can see came out of that bronzy's mouth was a I think a small black rays bob. You can see the tail of it. I always find it super interesting that the shark's natural prey is actually these stingrays that have these crazy defense mechanisms that can put a human in the hospital really quick, but they don't even feel that when it goes in their mouth. They're quite chuffed, I've always wanted one, so at least I get one, pretty cool. <laughs> 